Pluto is a dwarf planet within our solar system and until recently was counted as our ninth planet. Discovered in the 1930s by Clyde Tombaugh, Pluto is named after the god of the underworld in Greek mythology. The name was chosen by Venetia Burney from over a thousand suggestions, an 11-year-old schoolgirl. With a mean radius of only 1,184 kilometers, Pluto is by far the smallest quote-unquote planet in our solar system, considerably smaller than our moon. With a disk too small to resolve in even the greatest of ground telescopes, it wasn't until the Hubble Space Telescope cast its view in Pluto's direction before any kind of surface features could be resolved. Pluto's distance from the Sun varies considerably due to its elliptical orbit. It varies from 26 to 48 AUs, or 48 times the difference between the Earth and the Sun. At that distance, the surface temperature is estimated to be just 33 degrees Kelvin or minus 229 degrees Celsius. Pluto currently has five known satellites with Charon being the largest. In fact, due to their unique orbit, Pluto and Charon is the only known binary planetary system within our solar system. Pluto lost its planetary status in 2006 when it was downgraded to a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union. Additional discoveries of planetary bodies beyond Pluto indicate that the icy world is just one of many objects within a third outer region of the solar system called the Kuiper Belt. The decision was a polarizing one with many still believing that Pluto should be cast as a planet within its own right. Not much was known about Pluto, as it was one of the few remaining large planetary bodies that had not been visited by a probe from Earth. This all changed in July 2015, with the arrival of the New Horizons spacecraft. Pluto is a rocky dwarf planet, with an average distance of the Sun within 5.9 billion kilometers. Pluto has five known satellites, the largest of which is Charon, discovered in 1978. With a mean radius of about 1,184 kilometers, Pluto is around 20% the size of the Earth and almost half the size of our Moon. Pluto has a side real rotation period of 6 days 7 hours and takes 247 years to orbit the Sun. The estimated surface temperature varies from 33 to 55 degrees Kelvin. New Horizons is a NASA mission approved in 2003 and launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida in 2006. The New Horizons probe conducted a flyby of Pluto in 2015 before continuing to study further objects within the Kuiper Belt. The probe's closest approach to the dwarf planet was on the 14th of July 2015, at which point New Horizons' wide array of instruments were trained on Pluto and its moons. Almost exactly 50 years since the Mariner 4 probe beamed back detailed images of Mars, we got our first good glimpse at our distant neighbor, and astronomers have been scouring the images ever since. The last great undiscovered country of our solar system was finally revealed to us. But what did we find? Floating hills, icy plains, we certainly need more information. But one thing is for sure, we certainly have a much bigger understanding of Pluto since New Horizons has arrived. New Horizons is a US-built NASA space probe that was launched in 2006. With a total mass at launch of 458 kilograms, New Horizons has a projected mission duration of 9.5 years, but may still collect usable data for an additional 5 years. Powered by a thermoelectrical generator and using 16 thrusters for course corrections, the probe also has a wide array of onboard sensors with which to complete its mission. This includes ALICE, an ultraviolet imaging spectrometer, 
which has the ability to detect atmospheres if and when they are present. LORI, a focal length imager designed to take high resolution monochrome images in visible light. SWAP, an electrostatic and potential analyzer that can measure particles in the region of Pluto. Pepsi, a time of flight electron sensor to detect plasma and high energy particles. Rex, an ultra stable crystal oscillator to conduct radio science observations. Ralph, a 2.4 inch aperture telescope that works in conjunction with Alice to provide true color, visible light, and near infrared images. SDC, the Venetia Bernie Student Dust Counter. Built by students at the University of Colorado Boulder, it's designed to measure the masses of interstellar and interplanetary dust as they collide with panels on the spacecraft. It is named after the 11-year-old schoolgirl that suggested the name of Pluto back in 1930. The probe's distinctive gold coating is to keep the heat produced by the generator and internal electric heaters, ensuring that the system can still operate within the cold depths of space, far from the heat of the sun. New Horizons, shedding light on frontier worlds.